Have you ever wondered what the actual sound quality differences are like between a good quality moving magnet cartridge and a good quality moving coil cartridge for a record player? What the actual differences sound like? Well, in this video, we're going to do direct A-B comparisons between the two. We're going to listen to the exact differences, and I'm also going to compare the differences in phono preamps. So stick around in this video. I'm going to start listening to a whole bunch of records later in the video, but first I'm just going to give some background information on this video. I previously made the case that apart from surface noise, vinyl doesn't have a particular sound characteristic. It comes down to the playback equipment and it also comes down to how the cutting engineer decided to cut it. A lot of people say, yeah, but the digital sounds completely different to the vinyl. Or maybe the cutting engineer just decided to EQ it differently for the vinyl version. I can say this confidently because I've been a full-time mastering engineer for over 15 years and I've worked at studios that cut a lot of vinyl. So I know that there are often differences between the digital and the vinyl. As a listener, you don't get any say in how the vinyl was cut, but you have complete control in how it's played back, and the playback equipment affects the sound massively. In my previous video, I was discussing how if you're sitting in a cutting studio and you're listening to what's coming back directly off the vinyl and compare that to the original source and flick between, it's very difficult to hear any difference at all. It sounds almost completely the same. So vinyl doesn't really have a sound. The sound of vinyl really comes Apart from the surface noise, which is obvious, which you don't even really hear a lot of when it's fresh coming off of fresh lacquer. That's really what you're going to get off of a press after it's been played a couple of times and when it's gone through the manufacturing process. But the sound quality is really going to be coming from the playback equipment. So a lot of people really like that video that I made with audio examples comparing the cartridges. But a lot of people commented, well, that's just moving magnet cartridges. Why don't you compare to a moving coil cartridge? They're much more high quality. The problem with that is I didn't have one and they're quite expensive. And not only that, I'd have to buy a new phono preamp to actually use that cartridge because you can't just use a bog standard um, preamp with a moving coil cartridge because they need more gain. So although it's super interesting and I was really curious to hear those differences myself, I initially wasn't that motivated to go out and spend hundreds of euros on a new preamp and moving coil cartridge just to make one YouTube video and do some audio comparisons. But then I wrote to Audio Technica and said, hey, will you just lend me one of these expensive moving coil cartridges so I can make a video and then I'll send it back. And they're like, yeah, sure. So they've sent out a moving coil cartridge and the thing looks absolutely beautiful. I'll put some shots on the screen now like it's an absolute work of art I'm not saying that it necessarily sounds better we'll have to listen to that to see if it sounds better or if it sounds worse or it sounds the same we'll have to see about that but just in terms of the thing itself the way that it looks the aesthetics it really is a work of art and it comes in this um, really nice looking box so um, I don't know is it just are you just paying for that nice presentation box and the way that it was um, really nicely manufactured or does it have a really high quality sound to it as well so that's what we're going to listen to in this video they also sent me out a moving magnet cartridge a, a good quality one so we can compare the moving magnet to the moving coil and so no money exchange hands i'm not just like promoting audio technica here but they made this video happen because they sent out the, the stuff to for, for me to compare and also as i mentioned before you can't just use a moving coil cartridge with any preamp like my existing cambridge audio preamp it, it doesn't work so i needed uh, one that was compatible with a moving coil cartridge. So I reached out to Fossey Audio and they sent me out one of their um, phono preamplifiers and the, we're going to try that out as well. And I'm going to compare, because we can't compare with the moving coil, we're going to compare with the moving magnet the differences between the Cambridge Audio preamp and the Fossey Audio phono preamp. I actually think that Fossey Audio are smashing it right now in the hi-fi world. I really like how their equipment is so compact and it looks amazing with that anodized orange look contrast with the black and it looks really nice and the equipment measures really well but it's like AliExpress prices. It's like really entry level prices but with actual really high quality equipment and so I'm not going to do a lot more talking now we're just going to listen to audio examples and at the end I'm going to play my favorite record of all time and so you'll you'll find out what my favorite record of all time is and we'll get to hear it at the end Should I? 
I say she wants at me She's shown me heaven Isn't it good Norwegian good She asked me to stay and she told me to sit anywhere
ลอยลงมา